The order of procession for today, first of all, will be the Crucifer, uh, Mr. Wayne Shaw, who will lead the procession. And then there will be the three symbols of Easter uh, that will be carried. The glorified cross of Christ will be carried by Mr. Ray Belisle. The statue of the resurrected Lord will be carried by Mr. Carl Adamski. And the Paschal candle will be carried by Mr. Eric DeBrinzi. I will ask that Ray, Carl, and Eric, when I come out after um, we begin, that you please come into the sanctuary area. Raymond, you will be to the right to receive the cross. And, um, and Carl and Eric, you'll be coming on this side so that you can receive the uh, symbols of Easter. After that, we're not sure if Benjamin is going to be a part, but be Benjamin would follow the Paschal candle. Then the Ladies Adoration Society, the, uh, the Chimer will be Miss Erin Tudren. The Thurfer will be Mr. Braden Tudren and I will be the last as the celebrant. Uh, today, our electors will be Mr. Josh Tudrin and his daughter, Erin. So I think we're just about ready. So again, happy Easter to all of you, and may the power of the risen Lord be felt in this holy place this day.
turn around and face the choir. Thanksgiving, look on us in our humility 
and correct that being wiped clean from the stain of sin during the holiness of this great day we may rise to new life as worthy partakers of your son's death and resurrection who lives and reigns with god the father in the unity with the holy spirit god throughout all ages of ages
Christ is raised from the tomb, alleluia.
Please be seated. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we will go unto the altar of God. Our help is in the name of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, on this the solemnity of the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, let us turn to the altar of God and confess our sins before Him. And now, my brothers and sisters, let us recite together the second confidio. I confess to Almighty God in the Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in the Father of you, by my fault, by my fault. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, you will again renew us. Amen. Show us your mercy, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord, so that we might enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. I have risen. I am with you once more. You placed your hand on me to keep me safe. How great is the depth of your wisdom. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. 
This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God to judge of the living and the dead. To him, all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness and also through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response for today's responsorial psalm is, This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Alleluia. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Hallelujah. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Hallelujah. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Hallelujah. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what, of what is above, not is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, your life, appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The stone which the builders has rejected, rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. Alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. Alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us Alleluia. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord has proclaimed to the end of the earth, say to daughter Zion, see your salvation comes, his reward is with him, and his recompense before him. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Almighty and eternal God, who cleanse the lips of the prophet Isaiah, with a burning coal cleanse my heart and my lips, through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved, and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we do not know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but he did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there and the cloth that had covered his head. 
not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and he believed. For they did not understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. This is the gospel of the Lord. of John chapter 11 verse 25 and 26 in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen to you my dear brothers and sisters on this most sacred and holy day everybody looks really nice today <laughs> the altars are beautiful there's something about Easter that causes us to bring out our best because we're bringing our best unto the Lord. There are many memories that we share in our families and many memories that we have of when we were young, like Madeline and Jonathan. And I want to thank you, Madeline and Jonathan, for giving me some early Easter candy. God bless you for that. I have a plant that's in the back of the rectory put off to the side, didn't throw it away, just kind of placed it off to the side. And you know what? Through the winter, I didn't take care of it. The snow fell, and in that pot, I went out a few days ago, and it already started to have flowers. So, the Lord is truly blessing us at this time. In today's gospel, we hear where Mary of Magdala goes out very early while it's yet dark to the tomb of Jesus and finds the stone removed. In extreme distress and panic, she meets Peter and John and tells them that he, Jesus, is gone. They in turn run back and find the tomb empty. They eventually enter and discover that the wrappings and the head cover that bound Jesus in death was still in the tomb. We further read that Peter and John did not understand scripture and that they went away to their homes. And so now the story of Easter continues. Mary returns and she finds that Peter and John have already gone and she begins to weep bitterly and then she encounters two angels who asks her why she is weeping she says they have taken my Lord away and I do not know where they laid him it is then that she turns around 
and sees who she thinks is a gardener and pleads with him that if he has taken the body of Jesus away, to please tell her where and she will take him away. It is then that the gardener is actually Jesus and he calls her by name, Mary. To which she responds lovingly, Rabboni, or Master. So Mary, according to the Gospel of John, is the first person to see the resurrected Lord. Not Peter, not John, not the apostles, but Mary. It might be said that she did not first recognize Jesus because of the uncontrollable dread she felt and the tears she was shedding for her Lord was gone. But what joy it must have been when Jesus called her out by name, Mary. She went from uncontrollable grief to unbelievable joy. How she wanted to embrace him. How she wanted to hug him deeply. A static beyond belief to be relieved that he was not dead, but alive. She was at his cross. She saw how he was nailed. She saw his suffering and agony. And she saw the centurion who pierced his side, side in which water and blood flowed. But now, that first Easter morning, she saw that he was alive. My brothers and sisters, this Easter, Christians around the world approach the empty tomb of Jesus, like Mary did that first Easter morning. It was during the season of Lent that we were all called upon to reflect for 40 days with sadness over the pain and suffering of the one who was without sin, but yet who took our sins upon himself. He was to suffer a shameful death on a cross to bring about our own salvation. He became the high priest of God once and for all by shedding his blood and offering his body as a perfect sacrifice which no law could provide. From extreme sadness to extreme joy, this is what the Easter message brings to all who would believe in his resurrection. Today, my brothers and sisters, may we declare and with blessed assurance the words that are found in the book of Job, chapter 19, verse 25. For I know that my Redeemer lives. May this Easter find the Lord calling out to you by name in the very depths of your soul with this glorious proclamation. Because I live, you will also live. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God from God, light from light, true God and true 
God, begotten of me, of one being with the Father. Through him all things are made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified from the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again. In fulfillment of the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. and was silent when God arose in judgment. Alleluia.
give thanks unto the Lord our God. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, of especially on this day when He came and became our Paschal sacrifice. He is the true Lamb who took away the sins of the world. Through His death, He conquered death for us, and by His wondrous resurrection, he restored eternal life to us. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you to Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices, which we offer to you in the first place, for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, and Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true Orthodox and Catholic faith, which comes to us from the apostles. Remember your servants, Lord. And all here present, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for whom we offer, who offer up to you, the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for their hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God, we join in communion with an honor above all others, the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. Also your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, Live, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering and that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering and to make it pleasing to yourself so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, the day before his passion and death in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful, and save them. He instituted these holy mysteries in which spiritually and bodily, in his entire being, he again lives among his people. Please be. At that solemn moment so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands and having lifted his eyes to heaven, to you, his almighty Father, and giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples. <coughs> Saying, take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which is given for you.
in like manner after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands. Again he gave thanks to you, blessed it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do these things, do them in remembrance of me. souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, and his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy, and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which our high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice and immaculate host. We humbly be beseech and ask you, O Lord, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty, that we who receive from the altar of your Son may be filled with blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. To these souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant, we pray, a place of refreshment, light, and peace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us your sinful servants who hope in the greatness of your mercy. So part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs and all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts are always open to justice and mercy and with lives patterned after their divine master merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Christ our Lord, amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, Five. Bless and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him, all honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Let us pray. Instructed by our Savior's teaching and following divine example, we say with confidence,
past, present, and future, and by the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mother of God, Mary, together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, as also Andrew, and all the saints, grant us peace in our day. Supported by the help of your mercy, may we always be free from sin and secure from all disturbance. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Help us to receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free us from all our sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let us be parted from you who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for our judgment or condemnation, though we are unworthy to share and receive this great sacrament, through your loving kindness may become our safeguard and healing remedy. Our saving master awaken in us a living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, Make us your willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite us entirely with you. Our Lord and our God, grant us who lives and reigns with God the Father, in unity with the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. I will take the heavenly bread, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. shall I return unto the Lord. For all the graces he hath rendered unto me, I will take the chalice of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon him, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Lord.
We know that Christ raised from the dead dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Watch over your church and bring us to the glory of the resurrection. Promised by this Easter sacrament, we ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning. Through Him all things came to, into being, and apart from Him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in Him found life, life with the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness, a darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John, sent by God, who came as a witness to testify to the light, so that through him all might believe, but only to testify to the light, for he himself was not the light. The real light, which gives light to every man, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and through him the world was made, yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. Any who did accept him, he empowered to become children of God. They are they who believe in his name, who are begotten, not by blood, nor by cardinal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of an only Son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Thanks be to God. Anyway, again, I want to thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It was Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, and now, and shall be the world of God. Amen. And in memory of all our faithful departed, our families, our grandparents, our parents, brothers, and sisters, who are not with us, and for all others. Eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. May they all rest in the light, in the power of the resurrection of the Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, 
and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs>